for him to hang out. Oh, so he and there's one him. over there too, you guys. There's two of them in here. You can go over there well, too if you want. Mine is lost. Hi, Shmigo, where are you going? It's worth remembering that in the fable of the tortoise and the hare, it's the steady, persistent, calm tortoise who wins the race. They can do even more than win contests with rabbits. This tortoise is teaching children about wild animals. This is an American desert tortoise, and these children are participating in a summer camp at Wildlife Images, a wildlife rehabilitation center and educational resource for children in Southern Oregon and Northern California. Dandelions are on the menu today, fed by eager hands that have spent the morning preparing appropriate food for several of the animals at Wildlife Images. Oh God! <laughs> Several miles to the north, in Douglas County, campers at Wildlife Safari are having their close encounter with a California desert tortoise. So tortoises are designed to be very, very good at digging, whereas turtles are designed to be very good at swimming. So what kind of physical adaptations would a tortoise have that a turtle wouldn't to be good at digging? Christina. Sharp claws. Sharp little claws, absolutely. So both of our tortoises here, they have little claws on the ends of their feet, whereas a turtle is going to have webbed footing. What do you guys think these tortoises like to eat? Grass. Grass, yeah. They do they have teeth? No. No, they don't have teeth. They have what's called a beak. So it's not like a bird beak, essentially, but it's kind of a sharp little, uh, little edge on their face there. And they can use that when they get a big piece of vegetation. No, thank you. They can tear it apart really, really. Try again. Yeah, they're vertebrates. So all vertebrates have a spine, just like we do. So both of these tortoises, they have spines that run along their body here, and they actually connect to their shell. Uh, this tortoise has a name, Callie and she appeared with Leela Goulet and Julianne Rose on Adventures in Education, a program on RVTV. Because um, she was part of the pet trade and her owners actually did not understand the diet that she required. Um, in the wild, these guys will eat lots of um, vegetation and drier grasses as well as some, some hardier leaves and plantain. Um, they also require a lot of um, calcium as well in their diet. So here, as you can see, she actually has um, grown a little bit of a concave shell, and that's because of her diet and her nutritional requirements. Now, the difference between a tortoise and a turtle, um, turtles are actually swimmers, whereas tortoises are diggers. So if you were to put her in the bottom of a pond, she would not be able to get back out of that. These guys like to dig burrows, and that's where they live um, underground in order to um, escape the heat or escape predators as well. And they'll also use their claws for digging and for laying their eggs inside um, of their nest. Now, turtles and tortoises are not actually able to leave their shell. Um, their ribs are fused to their shell, and their shell is made out of the same stuff as their fingernails, uh, which is keratin. These guys are reptiles, so they do have scales, and they have specialized scales on their shell as well as underneath on their plastron. And these allow them to regulate their temperature properly. So unlike mammals who are able to create their own heat from the food that they eat, these guys actually need to use the sun um, to go out and to warm themselves up. Or if they're too hot, then they actually need to go into the shade to cool themselves off. What happened back a couple decades ago is a lot of people were taking these in as pets and having them in their houses. But over the winter time, these guys hibernate. So that kind of makes a pretty boring pet. So they were being re-released into the wild. So these guys were actually commingling with the wild species and giving them respiratory issues and were actually wiping out a lot of the um, wild California desert tortoises. So as a result, their population has gone down and it's actually illegal to have these guys as a pet right now.
Kelly likes to eat uh, leaves and she will eat certain vegetables as well. And she does this by using the hard lips that are kind of modified into a form of beak. So they don't have teeth the way other animals do, but she does have a really, really strong beak to be able to bite down and grab pieces of leaves and vegetables and whatever else it is that she is eating. These guys do not make good pets, as I said before. Um, they live to be about 50 to 70 years, which is a really, really long time. That's a really big commitment, and a lot of people don't realize that that's how long they do, in fact, live. So we do not recommend having these guys as pets at all. We always recommend that you guys do your research before um, acquiring any type of animal. But we're pretty lucky to have her here at Wildlife Safari as one of our education ambassadors.